I've got to go make a brew. How's it going, Fox? Not too bad. How are you doing this morning? I'm going to go see if my, uh, if my tag's clean again. I'm looking at that. That was very, yeah, it is now. That was very weird. Yes, we have we have someone who who likes doing that, and I yeah, I've asked him not to. So okay, does he does he uh, read books by Frank Herbert and pretend to be a worm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> hey Bev, good morning. Morning. I'm just making a brew for the missus. Uh, have you seen Tony's video? No, I just got up. Yeah, Tony's just. I just got up and video. just checked Tony's in. Just gone out, so. I mean... Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of videos. Oh. Well, it's a sort of a, a a little bit in between the contradiction between Sly and uh, Rumpus. Yeah, I heard. I don't know Rumpus very well, nor do I know Sly very well. Well, the, you, you claim to know the argument, do you, about level? Do I claim? I, I know your argument. Oh. What about Sly's argument? Not really, no. Rumpus's argument? No. Your argument? I'm, I'm pretty familiar with my argument, yeah. Okay. So, do you see there's a contradiction? No, I don't. No. Well, like, do you don't think that there's a, any contradiction between my um, argument about level and yours? Oh, there's a complete contradiction there. All oh, right, well, so you do understand there's a contradiction then? Completely, yes, yeah. between yours and mine. But there's no contradiction in mine. There's By the way, nor is there in yours. There is a contradiction One of us is wrong. between Sly's and uh, Rumpus's, though. I was not aware of that. And, oh. uh, well, see, that's nor do why I really I care. said it'd be worth watching the video. Why? Because then you'd know about the contradiction that stands between different people's ideas of what's going on. I'm not really sure I care that much. But, yeah. I mean, if it's a five-minute video, I'll watch it. It's the one-hour ones I struggle with. Or the two-hour ones. By the way, uh, that's got to stop. Not you. What's got to stop? The nonsense about your son. The question you you saw the exchange yesterday. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they, they were saying he's not real, and I said, "Yeah, they can come in and have a word with him if they want to check if he's real." Yeah. No, I look. I I I hear you. Yeah. I, I'm I'm. I don't have to agree with you to say that whatever it is that you do with your kids is fine. They're your kids, man. Yeah, so what, what's the nonsense that's got to stop? Who, who are you talking the to? The nonsense, uh, not you, oh. the other guys. You saw my post yesterday. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, that's. <laughs> do you think that's going to stop? Because Fight the Flat Earth has a lot of fans, you know, and they all think that teaching level horizontal is uh, actual child abuse. So, are you going to comment back on my write-up with something other than just crossing stuff out at the bottom? Because even that doesn't tell me whether you agree with, with what I wrote up on top. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be back in a minute. Let's take the message of brew.
fucking car better still be there or I'll be pissed. Which car are we referring to? Oh, you know, the one that I drove, like, for fucking, like, ten seconds away from the base, and it fucking destroyed the whole front end. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I swear, this game literally wants me to just walk. She's running a real rickety. Yeah. This be the hill. to the water. Which was where? Right there. You like? Goodbye. I'm back. Hey, goodbye. Almost at full. Tony. Kick him. <laughs> kick, kick him. Up. Tony. How do you kick him? Hang on, hang on. Kick him. <laughs> How much did you get there, um, Hippo? What was Tony even doing? I don't know. Far too open with his screens and stuff. He wasn't buying subs, was he? Yes, he was. I don't know, but I wish someone would buy me some subs. <laughs> I'll buy you some socks. No, subs. Oh, subs. Subway. You like Quiznos? Get your Subway. I didn't even know you could blink and buy subs. That's how behind the times I am. And now you can buy likes as well. What? You sure can. Yeah. It's a good job I really don't care about that stuff. Fuck you, game. Out of one car and into another. Oh, hippo. Come on. What are we here for today? What am I here for? Yeah. I'm just drinking the I'm just drinking a cup of coffee, man. What are you here for? Um, well, I'm here. For the, you, you didn't you said we were having a chat or something? You were expecting a chat with us. No, no. Oh, I just wanted to chat with uh, with Emma on uh, on the retagging of the name, uh, but she's already cleared that up. Just changed back to what it was. I'm cool. Sweet. So, your position on the water level. What what is that? Can you see in the live stream text? Hang on, let me go over there. I was just cleaning up. So I posted that thing. Pardon? Um, I think Sly posted that last night. Is that what you expect? What? Are you, what are you looking at? Are you looking at that, the water level test? I am looking at... Uh, I'm looking at the live chat. Okay. So there is a water level, a black one. It's got a piece in the middle, right? 
Yeah, so I'm not sure we're looking at the same picture yet. So I just post, posted something at, what is it, 12.37 your time? 12.37 p.m.? In the live stream text. No, I think it's gone into welcome. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yes, it is. Yep, it is. Sorry. Right, well, we're in live stream text. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all right. Don't worry. This is your last warning. Don't do it ever again. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just playing a game. I, I, I was going to say, you, what? <laughs> Hostile. <laughs> oh, shut your dirty horn. Oh, he's got a black man. So I got blocked off Q or d d uh, thrown off QE server yesterday for asking one question. <laughs> Did it have anything to do with gravity? No, I asked him for a map. Ooh. Oh. What did he say? You, that was it? Ah, uh, yeah. You, you asked him you, for a map. I did. And he he blocked you. No, he uh, he muted me and and threw up some map, went off on a little rant, and I uh, asked him why he muted me, and something along the lines of, well, you got nothing to say. I asked him one question, and uh, so then I called him a pansy for uh, not letting me back off mute, and uh, then he decided to throw me off. What do you I thought think it was of pretty that? funny. What do you think of that type of behavior? What do I think of that? Yeah. I think he's being an absolute idiot. You know, I got kicked off Fight the Flat Earths um, for uh, having me tea, it was. I was cooking tea, and I couldn't join a hangout with him and Red's Rhetoric, so he, uh, he booted me from his server for that. <laughs> so, who's, who's worse? <laughs> Yeah, and if you ever do it again. Well, I do it every night. I make tea. That's my job. And then... You're just going to have to quit that shit. And then my son was in there, <laughs> and he thought my son was me, so he kicked him as well for just thinking it was me. Uh, He's blocked me from his YouTube channel as well, so I can't comment. <laughs> Has he really? Mm. I wasn't aware that you could block somebody on your YouTube channel. Block me on his uh, yeah, you know, can. Discord completely. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you, say, yeah you, you don't know you can block people so you can't see their comments. Like, all negative comments just seem to disappear on certain people's channels. Yeah. You don't even need to. You don't even need to. You can just put in their name in a sensor bar, and any time they type in the fucking chat, it just doesn't show up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's lots of ways of doing it. They can, they can still watch the videos, obviously. They just can't yeah. Yeah, participate. Okay. Thank you. Like that's, 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 okay. Yeah, I thought you could. I thought you were saying that blocking somebody off a channel so they can't even watch. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. like, so they can call you names and everything and say, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah come no, on, comment then, come on. Oh, no comment. <laughs> oh, you're scared to comment. You can do that sort of stuff, can't you? When you're a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and until they hurt your feelings, right, Bev? <laughs> and then. See, that's why I always say, you know, it's all fun and games until I poke someone in the eye. <laughs> Till somebody tells them the truth. Yeah, but I poke them in the eye. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> so, Emma, I'm looking at the live stream text, and mm -hmm. I still show up as I don't know when. Oh, really? Really? I, I just posted. You didn't know well when. That's changed. I didn't. I didn't. <sighs> With crap eye as well. Are you no good at... <laughs> right, so, yeah, can you see that? That is my first drawing at the top there where it says water level. And then you've got the heights of the water levels. 
Yeah, so what I just Do, do you just agree posted, with that, we're... the way it looks? No, no. No, okay. Absolutely not. So which bit That's complete did, nonsense. Which bits do you not agree with? Uh, well, so the top one, if the Earth is flat, would indeed look like that. Okay. The bottom one would not look that way at all. I All I did was what I, I expect in reality with tools and stuff. I mean, that's what a water level does. It's just a graphical uh, representation, right? That's what you think it does. Okay, so what do you think it should do? What is, what is Oops, the bit on. that you think we've done wrong? The uh, So, first of all, the bottom one? The, the top one, I... I get. I think that's what flat earthers believe. No, my my drawing we're talking about now, right? Okay, which oh, the one above that. Yeah, that's that's my drawing. Okay, okay the one so that's. If uh... we're talking about my drawing, we'll talk about okay. my drawing. If we want to talk about Sly's interpretation of what he thinks he saw, we'll do that. Do that later. But this one is yeah, okay. the, my actual drawing, right? Okay, the one that is done actually looks pretty good. Shows two miles, one mile, one mile. Mm -hmm. um, water shown as a straight line. Uh, water level between your, th your level between your three water levels being equal. And what you're showing there would be on flat Earth. On um, reality, or flat, flat all, water, all flat the water. horizontals match. I, I. I with Euclidean Please let's geometry. stop say reality because you can't prove that. It's yeah. Euclidean geometry, yes. Of course. I, I don't care. Logically, I can prove it as well. I, I no, you, no, you can't. But I don't even really care. So you're, you're so going to be able to drawing. explain what you. So now, when you do this on a globe, um, why the levels I... will, the levels will be exactly the same. Okay, so it wouldn't look any different. Yeah, it would. It'd be curved. So it would be the same, but different. No, the individual elevations in the water levels. Yeah, above would the water still level. All five water levels. No, Elevation. there's three water levels there. In that well, way. five vials. Yeah. All um, five vials would be at the same elevation. No, there's three. There's seven vials there. Seven. I'm sorry. Them. Yeah. Sorry, seven. All they would, seven they vials wouldn't all be at the same level because the the red ones are individual levels that are checking the other level. So they're adjustable. All, all they're, all in they're order showing to keep is the check. all they're showing. All they're showing is well on your drawing here. They're all shown at the same elevation, right? They are horizontal frames of reference checking other horizontal. Frames of reference. Though. That's that's what there you is think. the water you, level. That is there is think. the black level, and there are the red level on the left and the red level on the right. One, two, three, four different levels to reference break. against each other. Exactly. In Smoke that break. one picture. So you have three different water levels in here. Well, four, if, Two. You, if you count the one of the canal that's at the side of it, yes. Oh, okay, but the canal is what you're trying to establish, right? No. But, uh, yeah, okay, but no, no, four. It's to prove to you people that level is horizontal. That's what this is. And what I'm telling you is, and what I'm telling you is, and what everybody's been trying to tell you is that what you've drawn here is true on a flat earth as well as on a globe. It looks exactly the same. The water levels will not change unless, unless, and that's the important bit, if you sight from the left side to the right side, because remember, you and I have this conversation and you label them AAA. So let's call them ABC, location A on the left, location B in the middle, location no, C no, on no, the right. No, no, if you want to do that, you label... It, working from left to right, it's A, B, B, A, C, C, A. 
Well, it would be A and A prime. So location A on the left, location no, the, B no, in no, the no. middle. They, the levels are the same in each of the individual tubes. They, the so elevation if is level the same. one has three tubes in it, they are all the same level. Elevation. Level. So, so hear me out. Just hear me out for a minute. If you can draw a sight line from the left to the right, a sight line, and the middle is on that line, precisely on that line, you win. Yeah, it's done. I could do draw that there now if you want. If that's all you need is me to draw a sight line, I can I can do that easily. You have to do a sight line. If you if you do a sight line Wait, from you, the actually, left. Actually, actually, when you're talking sight line, do you uh -huh. just mean looking at something? Yeah, with a little bit more precision than human eyes, but yes. Just, well, no, a sight line. What, what do you look at with the sight? Which, which sight are you talking about? Well, a sight line is a line from a point to another point. Yeah, well, that's just looking, isn't it? Isn't it? Like uh, okay. what you well, can yeah, see all I'm saying, all, all, all I'm saying is you will not be able to get it accurate with just your eyes. My eyes aren't that good. Um, I'm struggling to understand. I think you're missing out a vital point about calling that level. Or no, are you I'm not? not. You just, but you just want to be able to see. If you can see from one end to the other, mm -hmm. then that's good enough for you to know what. No, 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 no. Not if you can see from one end to the other. You can look. Look, I'm, that's I'm looking at my line, back. I'm looking at my backyard and can see more than two miles. Sightline. Um, so a sightline is yeah. if you establish a point, and and I think a rifle, I think a rifle sight would actually do it because that's got a, uh, that's got a cross in the middle, right? So if you then put the scope at the exact elevation of your left water level and do a straight view, put the crosshair on the far water level, sightline. If your middle water level is in that sightline, meaning exactly in that sightline, you win. On a globe, that middle sight, that middle water level, those three vials in the middle, mm -hmm. Will be about two inches higher. Higher, you say? That's two miles, right? To the sight line. That's over two miles. Is it so? Not it's, elevation, it's, not level, but relative to that sight line. Two inches higher. Over a mile. Two. two in in the middle. No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Okay. Two miles. Your your example here is two miles. Yeah, it is two miles. Two miles to get us two inches. What, over two miles? Well, we'd have to calculate it, but yeah, I think it's about two inches. Over. What What would the... Um, is You're the measuring drop, Sagitta is the drop here. over a mile? Yeah, I know, but it's why it's two miles, not a mile. All right? We, you do understand that. I made it did you, two miles, did, so you said. Did you not to, just hear me? Did you just not yep. hear me? Yep. That's what I said. Yeah. So... Even though the middle point is a mile away, you're going to yes. act as though it's only half a mile away. What are you talking about? Well, you, you're, 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 you're talking about drop. I'm talking about Sagitta, two different things. Yeah. Well, the Sagitta over how far? A mile. Two, mi two miles. Right. So, yeah, but the Sagitta is in the middle, right? Yes. So that would be a mile away. Just that distance. Mm -hmm. So you're sighting from your position A. Yep. Position A. Yep. Never mind the lab labels from the left on the levels. Side, all the way to the right. The way to the right. That's yep. two miles. Yes. If you do a straight line. Yep. Which is rifle well. scope. I think a rifle scope might work. Would you call that level line? 
No. Would you call that a horizontal line? No, I wouldn't. Oh, right. So you wouldn't call it level and you wouldn't call it horizontal. You'd just call it a sight line. No, I would just call it a line. line. I would just call that a sight line. That line that you've just... Well, what's the point of using the water level as a horizontal um, reference frame, then? Um, That's an excellent question. It doesn't. It isn't. What? Sorry? I said it isn't in this case. What? A water level isn't a tool for establishing its establishing a horizontal frame of reference over a over a reasonable distance like building a fence i think it's a fabulous tool how long is the fence you posted the picture of the fence what is it 150 what feet what max fence? Uh, what uh, fence? i think the fence you showed the other day was what 50 feet what what fence you showed pictures on twitter this weekend yeah, when of a water level. On a fence. Do you think they were measuring the fence? They, were, I think that they were measuring the fence, and I no, think they, that that's they a were water beautiful levels application. to show you what a water level is. I know what a water level is. Right, but so what do you think it's measuring? Over a reasonable distance, like what's, construction what's, what's purposes. Reasonable? 150 feet. What, so you can't construct anything over 150 feet? Oh, you can't construct anything without a water level? No. You're saying that a water level only works over a certain reasonable distance? And you're saying that distance is 150 feet? I'm saying that a water level will give you a reasonable approximation to a horizontal. It is a horizontal frame. It is a reasonable approximation. Okay, so when does it stop being reasonable? At it what depends, point? It, de it depends on the precision you need. What about more precision than a laser level? It, I don't uh, think you understand. Sort of I don't think you understand the question. What are you building? What are you building? A laser level. What are you building? Let's pretend we're um, building a canal. Yeah, if you do that with a water level and think that you're drawing a straight line that is completely horizontal everywhere, you're in a bit of trouble. Really? Uh-huh. So, when they constructed the canal from Leeds to Liverpool, are you, are you in the UK? No, I'm not. No. I'm in the US. Oh. Right, well, back in the early days, they made canals, because in, in Yorkshire, which is in the middle of nowhere, right, proper... Uh, over the mountains, over the Pennines, they had they wanted all of their coal and all of that to get to the docks to send it all. Yeah, out. I know. I know where all this is. I know where all this is. We have an office in Manchester. I'm familiar with the area. Right. Well, from Liverpool, they they started and they it, they take the Mersey, right, and they go up a few locks, three to be precise, and then it, it's the top at um, Vauxhall. After they've gone up with three locks, it's 51 feet. And then it meanders and goes wherever it goes. There was a long discussion on where it should go because obviously there's a lot of money in this being on this route. So they decided to go over the South Lancashire coastal plain. And that gave them a chance to go 27 miles past Aintree. Have you heard, you've heard of the Grand National. Yes. Yeah, well, the Aintree has a one. One of the bits on it is called the canal turn. And it's the it's a turn at thingy. It's a, and a, there's I think there's a, a jump on it. So that's the leads to Liverpool Canal. So it's gone from Liverpool, and it's, no, it's going actually kind of cool on its way, twenty seven miles. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Well, actually, the the bit where I'm gonna where we're gonna do the test if we get to do it is uh, 
where the first sod was dug. So it's a pretty historic place where the first yeah, sod was look, dug for that look, entire look, canal. Bev, Bev, I am hugely in favour of you doing the test. Right. You I, just, I think you that, just I think, think that, that automatically has... curves already, don't you? Not automatically, no. Well, I think how, it curves, How yes. do you think they established the level of that canal so the water didn't pour out? Because, I mean, 27 miles, I mean, it's call it 15 miles as the crow flies, because it, you know, from one side to the other, if you're talking that. Now, now how much, um, let's say, what do, we, what do you want to call it? Because, I mean, you, you imagine it being level, don't you? So, so what do you want don't... to call it? It's not. Is it drop? What curvature? No. How much? No, no. If so curvature. It's not drop. Drop implies elevation change. There is no. There is no elevation change. Okay. On a curve. Okay. If but... you're at the same gravitational equipotential, there is no drop. Okay. So wh where's the curvature then, and how do you measure the curvature? If well, that's no what drop. we were just talking about. Right. Okay. That's what we were just talking about. So over two right. miles, so if, then, we go back to the maths, see how good you are. Over two miles, what's the sag guitar? I don't know. i got to look it up. Well, it's one mile. Uh, what what um, calculation yeah, are you so using? So you measure, you measure the sag guitar. Are you using at, that eight-inch thing? No, 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 no. Oh, that's new, that's, new, that's geometric one. drop. That eight inch thing is geometric drop. That is oh, right. not the same. So you're same looking second. for a rise then rather than a drop, right? It's not a rise. It's not a rise. It's not. So that's where you get in trouble. It's not because you're thinking rise up, down. No. Oh. Eleva if you're it's doing this a, with respect to elevation. It's not a straight line though, right? From from one to three it is, but it's not a straight line from one through two through three, or A, B, C is not a straight line. That's correct. That's so, the whole so, argument, Bev. What? That's the whole argument, right? It, so, oh, wait a minute. From one end to the other, that is a straight line. That's what you say. Well, no, I'm asking you what you say. You say they're all the same on the same no, thing anyway. No, they're, they're the so, same elevation. Yeah, yeah. That which which means they're mean... on the same line, right? No, they're on the same curve, not the same well, line. But, so it's you're saying it's not a straight line. Then what is? Be specific now. What's not a straight line? Your, a line ele going, your elevation being the elevation same is not, is not a straight line. A straight That's correct. Line. Okay. That is correct. So can you tell me the curve of your datum, please? What what is the um, I, I'm sorry, geometric the curve, the curve, curve of, of your datum? datum? Yeah, yeah. A, a datum is a point, so mm -hmm. please define the datum. Well, you're saying elevation is not a straight line, so therefore your datum for elevation must have a curvature to it, a, a length a datum is a, and a, a, amount of drop or distance from the curvature. That's how you define a curve. Um, Bev, you don't appear to know what a datum is. <laughs> um, can I just check your qualifications in surveying? How about you check my qualifications in engineering? Well, okay. Can I check your qualifications in surveying? Because that's what we're particularly talking about here, right? Uh, we're talking about a datum, and a datum is a point, not a line. <sighs> A horizontal datum is a uh, horizontal, right? Uh, a datum is a point. Are you, like what? Uh, what are you defining a point as? A location. A datum is a defined physical location, and a datum marker is placed at that location, and that is your datum. The vertical datum, right? Vertical or horizontal, they're not all the same. Some are not vertical. So when you talk when you're talking about NAD versus NAVD, you're, so this is North you're America. The one North American that's datum versus North American vertical elevation datum. with um, a curvature. Now, can you please define this curvature that you're saying you have got inbuilt into elevation? A static elevation, you say, 
is a curve. Now, I say that is a straight line. Correct. That is exactly the argument. So when you draw a sight line from your left location to your right location, the middle location has to be on that sight line in your view of the world. In my view of the world, yep. that middle point is not on the sight line between the left location and the right location. Oh, There's no can more I just to check? that. Are you um, advocating for a physical horizon position as defined by a geometric curve that you have b inbuilt in your There is no physical horizon. Elevation? There is no physical <clears throat> horizon. It sounds like yes, you, you've is. just said that. No, no, there is a physical horizon. Can you visit it? Can you touch it? You're standing on it. Good. Well, yeah. No, For, sorry. To so somebody, to let somebody. Me, let I me am, just yeah. get this right. So if I, you say there should be a... You're not going to call it a rise, but you're not going to be able to see a point that's further away than the midpoint is, what? is that is correct is it no not even close w what, sorry but not even close to being correct so go on explain it again then a sight line yep. from the left location to the right location that's a distance of two miles yes 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 well i mean yeah. In this diagram, yes. I mean, if you want to make it a bit simpler, you can do that if you want. Yeah, well, two miles is fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with what you're doing. I'm, I'm trying to help make right, it so, a practical. Okay, so you're looking from one to the other. Now, you're I'm saying that's I'm looking a from A line. to C. Now, is that... No, A from one end to A at the other end. Yeah, just help me out here, Bev. Right. Well, you, call there it isn't location, call A it location and C A, B, C. anywhere written anywhere. So that's correct. So, well, it's in your head when you're saying A and C. I do not know. I am getting a clarification from one side to the other. I mean, why you call different ends of the same water level different letters is beyond me. Because they're different locations. They're physically different locations. When you go to one of these locations, can you be at both locations at the same time? No. Great. So you are Thank labeling you. one location, which location A is on the left-hand side of the drawing, yes. and mm -hmm. location C? What happened to yes. B? B's in the middle. Okay. Okay. You have three. You have three locations, can, each a mile apart. Just put that. Yes. I'll, I'll I'll get that as a as a new clip. Okay. And then we'll draw it up, so we all know what we're talking about. You can call it X Y Z A B C one two three. Well, I'm, I'm going to label it so we know what yes. we're talking about. All right. Exactly. Thank you. That's oh, that's what I was asking for the other day. Right. These are just positions, though. They are not water levels. That's correct. They are not water level. They are just positions. Okay. Copy. <laughs> there okay, you go. Thank see you. See that? Yes. Right. Thank okay. You. So, what are we doing? So, a sight line from A to C. Okay. Just a sight line. You, you don't Just want, a sight line. You don't want me to set a level up or anything. I mean, well, you, you can't. I mean, like, no. Because it, it no, there's don't. already four checks there. But let's say, for instance, we're going to put a theodolite up there or a, a auto level. Nope. I don't want a level. Why I not? I want a sight line. Because I want a sight line, not a water level or a theodolite. You can look through it. Yeah, of course you can. But that's measuring that's something sight. else. Well, what are you talking about? 
I'm looking I'm looking for a line between A and C. A line, just a line. And we'll yeah, we'll take Not we'll the auto use line. a water a, a, like a an auto level to look no, through because no, that's a telescope. No, 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 no. No. I, the telescope's great, but a rifle has a um a, a crosshair in it, right? Yeah, a level has a crosshair in it. No, no, I don't want you to use a level. I want you to use a rifle scope. I don't need a level. What, what, you want me to go and stand at the side of a canal and get a rifle out and start aiming no, it? No, no, nope. No. Nope. A rifle scope, not a rifle. Well, why can't I just use a an auto level? Right? Because I, I, I won't because level you're it. Not... I, I'll put the crosshair. We'll put, we'll lev put it at one side, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we'll just put it at the same height, and then at at location A. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll work out what height it's at, and then we'll go to location C, and we'll measure that height, and we'll adjust the level so the crosshair is on the same one, right? Is that would that be good? Well, you're not adjust. You're turning off the auto level function, and you're using your tool strictly as a scope. Yeah, yeah, with the he's got a crosshair in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah. Not level. Don't level it. Don't turn it on. We, we you just look through it, right? It's the, they're just only optical. It. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, just, yeah, but if no you, switch if you, on if you, it, enough. But well, then if you level, but if I don't want you, I don't want you to use a level. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can we can lock it and, and then work it so you just adjust the legs to get. The, hey, tell the height. tell the worm to. Tell tell the worm. What? Tell the worm what? Tell the worm. Hey, Shia Lud, shut the fuck up. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> He's not saying anything, is he? Yeah, he is. Look Where? at look at the. Uh, the sky is a dullard. Has no common sense. We ain't going oh, fucking don't shooting you. Don't get distracted you, by the words, man. <laughs> oh come on. So take take a take a rifle sight or. It, but you you gotta get the you gotta get the level, the elevation of your sight, at the same yeah, elevation yeah. Yeah, as the water yeah, yeah. level in that. A. Yep. We can measure put that, the crosshair. Yeah. Put, put the crosshair. Put the crosshair, put the crosshair on point C. Yep. Yeah. If point B is on that line, you win. Uh, win. You win. You you got it. Right. Um, You've. Okay, well, as a matter of um, interest, how far do you think a, um, a theodolite or something like that could actually see? You know, like what's maximum distance? I don't think I don't think a theodolite will do. That's why I suggested a rifle sight. Well, what sort of sights do you have on your um, rifle? Like, what sort of magnification do you get? Like how much? Thirty x. Thirty. Oh, so that would be good, right? Thirty. Thirty times is good. Are you saying? You checking? Checking with the crew. Just making sure with everybody. Is 30 times good enough? Hmm, not so sure. What about anybody else? Yeah. What's, what's 30 of, is not good enough, sorry. What's, what's a good size scope, though? You know, like what sort of uh, magnification is good for a scope for sighting something? I think a dumpy yeah. little scope would be good enough. Why do you want to take a hunting rifle with you to do a spirit level? A he level just wants the scope. He wants the scope. So we're talking about what sort of magnification. Why? Why would a, a level not be good enough, and a scope would be good enough? Yeah, but your level's got a, your level's got a scope in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we've already. Yeah, we're, we're fine with that. We're just working out what sort of. Um, he's working out with the team. Who've you got in the background there with your hippo? Who's on the? Who's on the panel? This time, no, we got we've got stuck on how how um, what's a good sort of scope for be able to see that, and how far can you see with one of them scopes, and what sort of maximum distance is that accurate to? 
So he's the one that suggested the scope, but he doesn't know what scope you need. Yeah. And <laughs> how, how good the scope would be. Yeah, yeah sorry, right. I, had to step, I had to step away from a second. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. I don't know how good the scope needs to be. Right, so I'm not a hunter. I don't have a rifle. Right, but I'm, what I'm sort suggesting. of distance would you imagine you, this thing is going to work, right? That you, you just said a distance, so that's what I'm trying to establish is how far A and C does that need to be to be able for you to be able to see a difference in B. Like, because Sly Sparkane has 1,500 metres, right, with his water level test. Yeah, that's a mile. Yep. Right, okay. So is that good enough to be able to sight a mile? Do you think you could sight a mile good enough to read through your hunter's scope? Yeah, so I don't have a hunter's scope. No. Um, the, look, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to develop. But you, you said I'm, I'm 30 trying to work times. With you guys is that... Is that a good amount of magnification for... I th that's what somebody else suggested the other day. Oh. I don't know because I don't know. Oh, right. Yeah, so... But I know, the, I know those scopes exist, right? I'm trying to come up, I'm trying to come up with a way that would actually work. Well, I'm no, trying I'm, to come up I'm with a way... I'm trying to I'm, suss I'm out how yep, far yep, you no. need to be able to cite this for, because you've just claimed it can be done easy. And, and there I is didn't a say easy. Win. You said there's a win I... for us. Yes, there is. If there if is, there's a there is a win. Seen. If yeah? if if you so two miles will work. I think one mile is a little tight. The reason oh, why so I think one mile is a little tight. Fifteen hundred meters, huh? Have you told Sly that? Yeah. Yeah. He said I there was one nobody miles... had any problems with his uh, test. So nobody's told him that one mile's not good enough. Yeah, well, you can do it with one mile, but it's difficult because the shorter that distance, the more accurate you need to be. But two two inches, you said, did you? I believe that the Sagitta, and yeah. and I could look. I can eventually go look it up. Yeah, the Sagitta over two miles, I believe, is two inches. Okay, so I don't know if that's right. Uh, that would be um, that would be half a mile away, right? No, a mile away. It's two miles between points. So the Sagitta. Of a two mile distance is two inch. Are you sure you've got I believe that right? so. No, no, I no, I'm not, no, I'm not sure. No, yeah, I wouldn't be sure if I were you. I think that's the Sagitta over one mile according to your, possible. your geometry of your that's possible. model. Right, so at uh, half possible. a mile you have a two inch um, difference between the mile marker. But when you go to two inch, I, I would suggest you might have a eight inch now, does that sound right? No, you're talking about drop, not Sagitta, right? No, the the Sagitta over one mile... Is two inches, and Sagitta is, over is, two miles yes, is listen, eight wait, inches? Wait, wait, let me finish. Over yep. one mile yep. is two inches over half a mile. Yeah? Because you're looking for one mile, so the Sagitta is half that distance. It's half a mile. Correct. Right. So... Over okay. two miles, the Sagitta would be at one mile and would be around about, on your model maths, about eight inches, right? That, you're, you're saying it, not me. I haven't checked it, but okay, yes. Let's assume for the moment that that's true. Wonderful. So eight inches is pretty easily observed. But it's two inches. It's got more. It was two inches over one mile, but then it's increased. So let's say, for instance, let's go 10 miles. You can't. Why? Because you're over the horizon. The canal goes like 27 miles or 15 miles. And you remember, it's only the Sagitta that you're dealing with, not the drop, because there is no drop. So how much does the Sagitta rise up over that, um, what is it, five miles, let's say, if you're doing ten? Yeah, so, so you guys cut out for me. Yeah, Have we gone to five miles now? Well, I don't know. I'm just asking, if you increase the line to ten miles, 
then the sagida increases, right? Yes. So the longer you make the line, the more it rises. Nope. So it doesn't rise. Okay. But so it, what you're saying is then because that um, that hump in the middle, the sagging. There is no hump. There is no hump. Okay. Well, it stops you from seeing something, doesn't it? You like you won't be able to see if you put your camera at eight inches height then over a mile that's it you've got nothing you've just made according to you a geometric horizon have you not well i think I, so here's the problem with throwing numbers around because you just says eight inches over a mile yeah yeah is that not agreed agreed upon i mean i've no, got, it's not. I've got men, no, it's many not. of your surveyors saying that that's uh the sort of what you expect on like your you guys what you expect is that not right no you would so what is what is the horizon geometric horizon at what elevation how far above the surface are you? I don't know. We're on a canal, and let's say we're looking over a mile of a canal, and we'll how put, how we'll, high we'll, above the water we'll are you? Put the uh, camera at eight inches. At eight inches high. Yeah, above the water level. Okay. And do you think you can see a mile? Well, I don't know. Are you saying that would we would be generating a geometric horizon at one mile away? Is that what you're saying? No, that's what you're saying. No, I'm not saying that. You, I'd say you don't make a geometric horizon because the water level has no drop. It is horizontal. I, I understand that that's your point. So eight inches it. at one end will be eight inches at the other end great fantastic yep and eight inches in the middle i understand i get all that so please don't do eight inches because to eight inches is a little close to the water level you don't like eight because, inches because What's up with eight because inches? well if you're doing eight inches we're going to be arguing about refraction for the next five years why we're not no no we're dealing with water levels here we're talking about actual water levels aren't we yeah, and they're not good enough. They're not proving what you think it's going to prove. You need aren't good enough for what? Because the expectation of what you think you'll see is exactly the same on the globe as it is on a flat Earth. Expectation is to see a horizontal plane of reference. Yes, but you have not observed it. You, you do. think you it's there. Look at it. <laughs> Hang on, Bev. 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 You asked him a question as well that he hasn't answered. He, he won't answer it. Yeah, go ahead. What's the question? I apologise. He, he asked you if you put the camera at eight inches above the water, yes. at what point would the geometric horizon be formed? At what distance? I, I, I don't know off the top of my head. There is some distance where there is a geometric horizon. That's yes. That's, that's what Bev's asking. So at what point would this geometric horizon, according to your ball of maths, I, I don't would know. It be I, formed? I, you'd have to go calculate it. Okay, I don't know. Right. So you'd have to calculate it. But yes. what you're saying is there definitely would be one, right? Would there be a geometric horizon? Yeah, according to you. Yeah, but the geometric horizon is not a defined physical object, nor is the geometric you've horizon necessarily what you... Ge geometry. Yeah. You've just stated that the elevation has a curvature to it. That is geometry. I state it's a straight line. You say, yes. no, it's not. It has a curvature to it. I say, if I put the camera there, eight inches above the canal, and look how far would the sagitta be before we can't see anything past it 
Oh, now Please. you're confusing it. Now you're confusing a couple of concepts. No, you're just not answering the question. No, no. I am perfectly happy to answer the question. Is go on, then. Get on. there Let's... a geometric horizon? There is a geometric horizon. At Thank what you. distance? But I don't know. Look it up. Well, you're the one that's claiming it. Do you, do no, you, no, no, no. What are the no, calculations hey, oh, for oh, your stop, geometry? Stop, 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 stop. All, all I am claiming, all I am claiming is a geometric horizon. No, I'm not. Yes, but you I've, have. I, okay, please go back in the conversation and tell me where I claim a geometric horizon or you can't see this far, you won't find that. Here's what I'm telling you, folks. If you put uh, sorry, uh, a are you sight claiming line. you can see through a sagitta? No. Well, therefore, there must be some an area that you can't see past. Surely. Correct. Correct. It well, has to when be a is geometric that? limitation. Where is it? Guys, let's go back to <laughs> the point. What I'm here for? No, 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 no. Can you answer the question that Bev asked you? About what what question? Five. What question? At what point is the geometric, physical geometric limitation to uh, your there... vision at eight inches above the water's surface? At okay. what distance so, so is first that of all... physical limitation to okay. the vision, your vision, our vision, the camera's vision? Physical or geometric? Because those two well, are different. Well, no, no, it would be a physical impairment nope. that is a geometric limitation yeah it so, depends depends on refraction no it doesn't yeah sure it does no there is a geometric limitation all right we'll go yeah, with the geometric oh, oh. we'll go oh, with hang the geometric on a yeah because we'll go with because, the geometric because if you want to throw physical and geometric together we'll, we'll go then with the geometric great we'll go with geometric because it great. what was first proposed i don't know the geometric horizon distance, eight So you don't know your ball of maths? You don't know the maths of your, your own geometry? Will you let me finish my sentence? Well, how can you, how can you, how can you support a theory that you don't know the geometric limitations to, and you don't know the maths of? So you're not going to let me finish my sentence? Are you going to answer the question? Of course I'm going to answer the question if you're going to let me finish my Go sentence. Go on then, get on with it. Thank you. Do I know off the top of my head, sitting here with a cup of coffee at 8 o'clock in the morning, 8.30 in the morning, what... Do you, have Google, do you have Google in front of you? Google's a really good help, you know. Google's fantastic. Well, go on then. Boy, I'm go not on, off you go. Like it. You, you can you do it. Off you go. Off you go. No, it's your claim. Babble. It's your claim. Off you go. No it's, no, it's not. It's you guys are asking me a kajillion questions, and all I'm no, saying is... there is only guys, one question that has been asked, and you have avoided it. You have not answered that question. You've run round in circles, and all we're asking is for that one question to be asked. Great. You've got Google, you've got Google in front of you. You say it's not up to you to answer that question, but it is your claim. And if it is your claim, it is up to you to answer that question. All right. So now, off you go. So, so my little friend. No, I'm not your little here's friend. Here's my claim. Don't get here's, it wrong. I'm not your little friend. Here's my answer claim. The, answer the question. Here's my claim. When you do a sight line from location A to location C, Location B will not be on the same sight line in Bevel's arrangement. That's it. How, that is the only how claim. do you sight C from A if B is in the way? Do it one meter above the ground. <laughs> one meter above the canal. Okay, right. Well, do it we two go. meters above the canal. Okay, let me go back to... Um, Imagine I'm going to set up a theodolite or a, an auto level at yeah, the side that's... of the canal, right? Right at the side of a canal. And I'm going to look as far as I can look 
and I'm going to measure the height of the level above the water from where you're looking at and I'm going to go as far along that canal as I can and I'm going to cite what the measuring rod says above the water line. You can imagine we're doing the water level test. We can do this at the side of the canal as well. Uh, I, actually, we already have it planned, but I mean, you've never bothered letting us get this far. So you're going to get it and you're going to sight as far as you can. See, now I've got um, a 32 times scope on my dumpy level. Okay. That's impressive, that, isn't it? It's bigger than 30. So I'm going to be able to see quite a long way. And we'll be size going to be isn't, able to... Size isn't the only thing. We're Beth. going to be able to measure <laughs> the height of the water, right, from the level. Now, do you think it should be the same as what the level shows at, at one end? Because you're looking through the level, and we've measured the height of that above the water, and we're going to look... And we are going to measure the water at the far end, as far as we can see. All right. So you're going to set up a theodolite at point a. a. Well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Let's call it A. Yeah. Location A. You're going to set up a theodolite at location A. Yep. And you're going to measure. I'm going to. Uh, the, height the height of your theodolite. Uh, the height of the theodolite above the water. And then you're going to take the theodolite. And you're going to level it at that location. I'm not going to take it anywhere. We would set it all up and we would level it. Yep. And then we would yep. measure the height of yeah, it fine. above the water. Yep. Yep. Great. Okay. Yep. That's actually the correct order. Thank you. And then you're going to go as far as you can. Well, I would and... because I'd be looking through it. But I mean, I'll get, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll get someone. my lad. Yeah, someone. Yeah. Someone's going to go to, as far away as you can. And go the exact same elevation well, above no, we the just water. Get a measuring stick, and we'll put that on the water, and then we can just right. read the number, can't we? You can, yes. Yeah, right. Okay. I, I think holding, from what I've seen in the canal, it's probably a little bit more difficult to actually hold the rod over the water. Okay. So if you do a datum point on the, on the path and measure okay. that height, and that's where your laser level is yeah, actually we just perfect, go straight right? From the water of the canal. Yeah, it's fine. If you can do that, great. Yeah, if you can do that, great. Yeah, great. So you're asking me if I think that that you, that you're going to through your theodolite, yeah, leveled theodolite. Yeah. If you're if you're right, you will measure no, no, exactly I'm the same height. Asking you what yeah. you think we should expect. To you see. should. In expect, reality. You should expect. Yep, you, you should expect to see that through a properly set up theodolite, some distance away, that you're you will be higher. Right. So sorry. So I would measure the theodolite, and we'll call that X above the water. Right. And yes, then I'm going to sight it as far away as I possibly can on the uh -huh. water level, and you are going to say. The distance would be greater. X plus something. Something. Right? Yes. And now you think that X plus something is a calculation of distance away from the theodolite. It is a function of the distance away from the the theodolite. Yes. Okay. So, you, so what, what you're you, measuring? What, the, you've just what you're said measuring is there is you drop. would expect the water to drop away in the canal from the horizontal i would expect so the word drop well no you've just said it's x plus something as a function yes. of something so that yes. is a difference in elevation from no, the not. horizontal that you've just no, cited from, that's what you've just said it, yes it is it is a it is an increase in distance from the horizontal that you have just cited that is correct okay you don't mind me saying that that sounds absolutely crazy, right? I know. I I know that's what you think. Do you? I know that you think that that's crazy. How many other people think um, like that? I mean, how many other people, uh, globe believers, do you think also think like that? I'm struggling to think of one that wouldn't. Oh, really? 
Can you name, you... Can you name any specific ones? Because, I mean, you're not really a surveyor, are you? Like, you've got not got any surveying qualification. I mean, you've got an engineering qualification, but you've not really got any surveying qualifications, have you? No, I have several engineering qualifications, but I do not have any surveying qualifications. So do you have any um, surveyors that you know that could do this? Because... Um... In the UK, no. So just for instance, like, let's say my... Um... My uh, theodolite, or I can find a level somewhere, a laser level, a newfangled, technological, brilliant, fancy uh, laser level, and we set it up a mile away, um, and we go along the side of the canal. Like, what sort of distance? Give us an average. I mean, we're not asking you to do some massive calculations or anything, but a mile away on the canal, what sort of... Um, number of I know you don't want to call it drop what do you want to call it um, deviation from the horizontal how's that that's that sound good right so that sounds great how much of a deviation from the horizontal would you imagine over a mile so I think that's where the eight inches per mile or eight inches per mile square is actually pretty good because you're measuring that change but you say because of the function of a water level not being the same as a um, auto level, that then a water level is no good for checking the horizontal plane. Like as you've just stated, over one mile, if I'm holding a water uh, level, like with two tubes at one end, I hear you. Other, yep. So if mm -hmm. I if I hold it and I'm I stay in position A and my lad goes over to position um, B, say, at a mile away. You're saying that he would be um, eight inches difference from the horizontal. That's correct. With a tool that is used to establish a horizontal. Not over a mile. All oh, right. Okay. So... Does it? Do they come water levels? Have you ever seen that with the um, beware of the um, like? It's strange that you don't know that number, but it seems to be um, on the. Is it? It's not on the water level thing. It doesn't. There's no thing on the side of it that says um, this is a tool for establishing a horizontal, but um, you have to function in a distance calculation to work out how far from the horizontal it is over a distance you not think that's a bit strange or is it just no, like, really is it that low tech and it's sort of it's it's very low tech it's new look, is it look for the for the purposes of building a house or building a fence i think it's actually perfect i think it's probably the best tool out there for that what about building a canal? Do you think it'd come in handy? Uh, for building the locks? Sure. For building the locks? Mm-hmm. Why, is that because you need to know the difference in levels between uh, the levels of the water? Well, no. When you're, when you're building a lock, you need to build a concrete structure. Well, you do now, anyway. You build a concrete structure, and you would like that the top of that concrete structure to be practically level. Just the concrete level. bit. I'm giving you an example. Okay. It's not just that. I'm strictly giving you an example. Right. So you, yeah. Okay. So you you think the only use of a water level in the construction of a canal system? would be the fact that you think it might help with the concrete structures around the locks. I think that's one example where a water level would come in handy. I am not suggesting that that will be its only use. Okay. You asked me for an example, I gave you one. Okay. 
do you not think it would come in handy establishing the level of the canal once you fill it up with water? I don't. No. I don't. So is there a difference between a water level, the tool, and the water level, um, actual water level within a canal? Is there a difference in what they mean? Yes. <laughs> really? Water level in the canal is relative to a datum. A water level, the tool, is a tube that has water in it. No, so you... water level in a canal is defined, isn't it? <laughs> because if it's level, Euclid gives us the definition for what level is, doesn't he? Horizontal, 90 degrees to vertical, two okay. straight lines, not curved lines. Okay, great. So do me a favor, pull out your Euclid book and show me in Euclid where level is defined, horizontal and vertical is defined. It's, they're Off perpendicular, aren't they? Uh, 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 uh. What do you mean? Uh, 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 uh. He said level, Just do what he horizontal, says. Do what he and vertical. Says. Where in Bring Euclid does it? No, 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 yeah, he does. He gives. He tells us what vertical is. He tells us what level uh, horizontal is. He tells us they're both ninety degrees. He tells us that parallel lines are always par um, they're always um, parallel to each other. They're not on an angle like a spoke on a Tony, wheel. Tony, can he gives I, us uh, all the can I you know. do this because he's going to go here and I've, I'm going to have to interject. Horizontal I know you're going to make tea, aren't you? And vertical are real life positions. They are not mentioned in Euclidean geometry. The same as pencils, pens, compasses, squares, numbers. Not mentioned. So horizontal and vertical are defined as perpendiculars. That is a geometric condition that is defined within Euclidean geometry. So are they perpendicular and that is the geometric description um the fact that vert you can argue about what vertical and horizontal is but i will say they are very definite real life positions that can be defined by practical tools at a location i agree completely I'm trying to give you a way, I'm trying to help give you a way, where when you run your test, no Glober will argue with you. The way you have your test set up right now doesn't do that. I'd be thrilled if you ran the test and actually showed it flat. I think that would that would be hilarious. Get ready. But work with me to develop that test. Because the Why way you, you have it done right it? now is you're because what you're doing is going to be true whether it's a straight line or a curved line no, only, because of the way water levels work. for worked. people that don't know the difference between a straight line and a curved line. That, you yeah, can't be so, that silly to say we can't tell the difference between a straight line or a curved line. We can. Not, we're not it's you with guys that are struggling. <laughs> I know you say that, Bev. Um, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable that that's not true. So you're the one that's just said we can't tell. I say we definitely can tell. Not, I know. Not. I've got to go and level. make some dinner for the missus. Yeah. So I got. I, by the way, I got to go. All oh, right. Those were five minutes. Yeah, but I'll catch up with you guys. No, and oh, the warm left. I'm so sorry. Um. All right. Talk to you later. All right. See ya. No, I'm Bye. still here. <laughs> you got something to say? I'm still here. The worm's still there. He said, "Ciao." Not to you. Oh.
Oh, you said learn, that to Emma. Learn, yeah, you no, said that to, to Emma. It wasn't, wasn't to Emma either. Okay. Learn to read the messages above. I, I don't have my reading glasses on. So, uh, you don't have just so you know, on I'm not running away. I actually have work to do. So I wouldn't want you to think that I'm running away from you. No, you just don't answer questions that are asked. Because you don't know the maps involved. Oh, no, but no, you've you got, Google, done very you got well, Google in front thanks. of you. Thanks. You've, you've helped us out a lot. Have a, have a good one, guys. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bev.